Welcome back, fellow gamers and enthusiasts. I'm Stormy, and today we're back here in Doki Doki Literature Club. And uh, previously, we've had a lot of interesting things pop up. We have, we know that these girls have problems, obviously. Uh, Sayori has depression. Uh, Natsuki has um, insecurities, and Yuri um, cuts herself. So. I don't fucking know what to do, but we're, we're just gonna continue to follow our route on the short route of uh, Sayori, uh, which obviously is romantic and bittersweet words, so hopelessness is obviously probably the first thing. Um, let's see, um, comfort, and then pleasure, no. Memoirs, uh, passion, misery, um, flower, um, existence, no, okay, embrace, uh, Laugh. Uh, pro romance. Yeah, but it's romantic words, eh? Um, let's see. What else would be good? Um, eternity. Empty. Yeah, empty. Um, tragedy. Childhood. Rain, no, it's not raindrops. Special. Um, by the 16. Precious. Um, sadness. Sweet. Unending. Okay. Guess not. Uh, shame. Oh man, I'm the last one. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up the piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't uh, for all of you. And I'm super happy that y you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Were you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a, a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh, I don't say I, I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean... Uh, by you of all people because it's right in your name Monica Eh? That's not how you say it at all Also that jokes means means no, makes no sense in translation What? Ah <laughs> uh, never mind Let's just focus on the event for now, okay? <laughs> fine fine Reaction are so fun as Yuri or Sayori's anyways. Excuse me? Where is Sayori anyways? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the, of the room looking down at nothing. Yeah, I, th there is something. She needs help. She's depressed. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. 
<laughs> eh, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk with everyone else. Huh? Is, it ever is everything alright? Uh, of course! Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry, uh, worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sarah so shows me a big smile. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I really glanced at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation had already disappeared with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Mo Monica if sh she's noticed, something, noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been uh, preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Mason, what's up? Hey, this might sound a bit a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much. You're not. You're not. There, there is something, but but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. What? Train. Tr train. Every time there's a train. I'm not, I'm not lying. It's like a fucking train every time I fucking play this game. Like, I don't fucking know. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking- I'm not the one asking you, Mason. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she never really liked this. She always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was dis really dismissive. Sorry, I, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you know anything. So I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her, and I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seems like she wants to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she's just having a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Mason. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... She already talks about you more than anything else, you know. Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light has was turned on inside her of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always full, uh, been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Mason. Have you thought that maybe you always seen her uh, as so cheerful because that's just how she is when she's around you? Sudden realization. Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What did I know anyways? I don't want I, I don't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I tried to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, uh, all right. Monica smiles mean meaningfully. I said she f said to forget about it. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of, out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Time passes. Okay, everyone! After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we show our poems now? 
Before I know it, everyone is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Alright, let's not go to Sayori, because she, she's trying to avoid us, so we'll go to her last. So, uh, let's go to Monica. Hi, Mason! Have you thought about what you want to submit, uh, submit to perform at the festival? Well... Being in this club is one thing, but performing in a front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> Why do you care? Monica has it in for me. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. <laughs> it's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Seori's have been getting more and more similar to each other's every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? I guess you could say that. Although, we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot more, a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me. But how Sayori's been a little off today. Yeah, did she tell you something? Ah, uh, well. Mason, have you, Mason, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Uh, of course not. I've been treating her like I always do. Really? Are you sure about that, man? <laughs> Don't think so. Fuck. Alright. Just making sure... I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. Stop with the fucking foreshadowing, eh? So has been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club? What could have happened all of a sudden? Maybe you? You could be it. Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Err, alright. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old uh, tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift the sky, a victim of the current of wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, no, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twist, the twilt, tilt, twilt, twilted sky, until one day the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless, but a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady, I look at her eyes, find no end to her gaze, the lady who knows everything, knows what I am thinking, before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice, I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am your, I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back a, a foot afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Monica, Monica, you fucking, you fucking something else, eh? Fucking something else. Anyways, you know. I feel like like learning and looking forward answers are wait, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it, it was kind of uh, on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, I'm almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I've noticed. 
It seems like everyone in this club prefers writing about things that are more ha more sad than happy. Ah, aren't you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. I mean, one-dimensional? Okay, Monica. Ah, uh, yeah, that. Oh, boy. Anyways... Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing you, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you, you that your writing is good or bad, or good, or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things that you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. There's fucking something up with her. I know there's something up with her. I mean, you probably know something's up with her. Everyone knows. Uh, let's go to Yuri. Well done, Mason. You've done... You've... Definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing our writing like this, it's a lot of fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to th thank Monica. I think we, we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore, but it but it's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. <laughs> oh, the player here. But it's been fun getting to know everyone and their writing, and I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Mason? Eh? Well, you know how I like to say that your writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're good at, a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know. As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's, com that's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advanced, most advice to share. Is that so? Yuri th thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible, eh? For me to have, be, have become someone whose opinion is fearsome, how unlikable of me. Yuri, it's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I s I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to the those sort of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. What am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. Beach. Uh, a marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the su surface. This, s s yes, wait, sun, sur s fuck, script. Mm. Under a clean blue sky, an expanse of bliss, but beneath gray, rolling clouds, an endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will gently lick at your found your foundations until you give in. That's a fucking weird way to fucking say it, but okay. Or will a sudden wave send you uh, cast, cra crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic, 
The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my peace. Uh, my peace to erode at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. Forevermore. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of a in in the ain thing to write about. But I did my best to mi to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I supposed to be to better compare the difference in our own writing styles or thought processes. Anyways, it was was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she wanted to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just want her. I just want with her request. But well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It could be refreshing, you know. It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think to agree. Why? Why does <laughs> she doesn't care about Natsuki's writing, even though she's like, yeah, your writing's good, you know? Fucking, fucking hypocritical. Thanks for sharing. Hi, Natsuki. This one's all right. All right. Well, yeah, but as good as yesterday's anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're try just trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyways? Isn't that one of your compliments to me? One of your- Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? No, no, gross. It's, it's not like I care. It's just that one of us in the club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended ended up just scaring me away? That's, um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of a fun... It's kind of fun hang, to hang out here. Even I have to put up with you. Yeah. Ah, that was me. Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Ow? Maybe I wouldn't mind scaring you off after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. Someone was not joking. <laughs> Say me. <laughs> How the hell do, I, do you call that a joke? <laughs> that seriously hurt. No, whatever. <laughs> well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyways, Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing ever happened. I'll be your beach. That's a that's a that's an interesting way to start it, you know. <laughs> say it one say it wrong one time. It says I'll be your bitch. But that's obviously me with my uh, immaturities, but let's read this. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go, a shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with br brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way that in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury you heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see your shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail and remember the and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about every day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way that you had long left long ago. 
But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you never learn to love yourself again. Is this talking about yourself, Natsuki? It's talking about insecurities. I know you have some. Yeah. Well, she just answered my question somehow. I don't know if... It's sure. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write some about something negative about the beach. You know, obviously, yeah. You know, Natsuki and... Natsu. Natsu? Natsu means summer, and Natsuki's close to summer. That's some Japanese for you today. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying half the time. I'm pretty sure Natsu is summer. Probably is. I, I think. Sure. Anyways, well, Yuri takes on it. Well, Yuri take Yuri's take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's... Jeez. She's better not have said anything bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted to write about the same topic. Uh, can't really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Who the fuck did it? Who the fuck wanted to fucking write about the same thing? Was it Natsuki or Yuri? Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Alright. On to Sayori. This is your best one so far! It's really... really nice, Mason. Er, thanks. Hmm. Sarah, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Eh? Of course! Everything's fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. Eh. <laughs> Do you want to nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I want to see smiles on your face. Alright. Hey, Mason. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even Natsuki. But in the end... Yeah. I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? <laughs> oh, when the music cuts out, you know, you know something's going on. You know something's going on. It's so fucking creepy when the music just cuts off. It really is. You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait! Of course I do! That doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me, and I have to sometimes put up with you, but we have a wavelength or something. That's a fucking interesting way to put it. And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only, only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Siori? No. Hey, Sin. I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Siori has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Siori? I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Siori! I probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what... Uh, tell me what will cheer you up. Siori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and put on a smile. It's nothing, Mason. It's a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I, I promise it won't happen again. The smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Siori. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Before I could say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Okay, you three. Almost, 
we're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you just say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You... You di divided... Your... You divided from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even your reason is, isn't immune to it. Ooh. Uh, stagging air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Great, great, great. Even the even the fucking fucking story tells you. In your books, maybe. Well, this is a virtual novel, so. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah. It seems you're right. Ah, uh, she always, hel always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off anyways? I thought she went went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times not to not go home with her, you pick the time that she's not feeling well. So much for you, uh, so much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Ah, uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. Uh, fucking not misunderstanding. No one's misunderstanding. Everyone fucking knows. <laughs> and second, she's kind of avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what fucking sound is that? That curious expression come from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything's fine. What, sh what did she say? Anyways, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so... Yes, just do dodge the question. Just dodge it. Just fucking dodge it. Just fucking pull out a sign and fucking dodge it. Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them, in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sarah will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh, um... Guys... Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. N no That's not all! You're the most talented person here, you know. Now, Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez. Even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh... That may be the case. But if I can also be the leader, but if I can't also be the leader of my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make banners and decoration to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I, I love atmosphere. <laughs> uh, Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at a desk in focus and focuses and starts nodding to herself. Your ma mind is already racing, I see. That's great. It'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyways, that just leaves you, Mason. The one who is truly useless. I ah, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and, and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. I would probably go a long way to help uh, give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth am I going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't need... Well, even if you don't know how to beg, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica is going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyways. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of ex a bunch of excuses like that. Um, I recall Natsuki, you mentioned that you would 
like to handle the bacon on your own. Mason may not like to be around if you're only going to make him uh, make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting me with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuse for Mason too. But what are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Mason to decide how he liked to contribute. Besides, he hasn't gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in. You literally just said, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Mason, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah, uh, of course. Manf, very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going with Sayori. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we already neighbors, and but Monica said. Monica said, Say Monica said Sayori was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? Uh, no. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Sure, let's go to with Monica. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay, you picked me. Hold on a second. Yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Eh, but... I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already... Not only is your work most suitable for one person, but you already has have Sayori as well. But Mason was the one who... Uh... That doesn't matter. You're the one that... Who scared him in, into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to be responsible for the decision for the club. Monica, you should, shouldn't let the any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the one with ulterior motives. Excuse me! Otherwise, otherwise this wouldn't be <laughs> have been such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah! We have a lot of work to do, you know. We won't do any. We won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um. Uh. So are you going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay. I get it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it's it's technically most logical for Mason to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Do you have a preference, Mason? <laughs> oh, that's great. That's just great. It's like, do you have a preference? Ugh. It doesn't matter, really, because I have to fucking do this again. But, um... I guess Yuri. Well, I'll probably be most helpful. Help, uh, I'll be most useful helping Yuri. It, me? Are you serious? Why would you, Natsuki? I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No. I was just saying. Uh, so you'll be helping Yuri then, Mason? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bit of a habit of overthinking these sort of things. So I think your assistance will be useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So is, uh, so is this everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word for it. But I suppose I'm looking a little, for, uh, little bit for... Uh, L looking forward to it a little bit. 
do you feel the same way, Mason? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it would turn out. That's it good enough for me? What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no That's not what I meant at all. Uh... Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I I'm sorry for this. I didn't know... I don't really know why Mason picked me. Because... The fucking two choices, eh? And also... Your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I have ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for this event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kinda surprised, though. Why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know I'm not good, very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words trying with words, trying to cheer someone up up must be far out of her comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to uh, trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work out work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kind of appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing, nothing but I'm going to stay, say this. You better, you better bet my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah, uh, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today, so I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Mon Monica and Natsuki out of the door as they chat between each other. Um... Eh? I turn around. S sorry I realized that I don't have any way of contacting uh, you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be... I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that w I would be go the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. I suppose that makes sense, but if you don't mind, I think I, I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should really ma matter much either way, so I just need to make sure my room's clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate, uh, underestimate yourself, Mason. I think that will make a very productive team. Even if you are only choose me because you felt bad or something. You know, the only reason why I choose you because I couldn't choose Siori or Monica. So I just chose you because why the fuck not. Wait! You didn't actually think of that, do you? I, I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the only one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I wanted to do. But, but... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out uh, when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Your thing's really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this! Yuri is going to come to my house on Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori? 
my anxiety shoots uh, still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me that she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Siori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Mon Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I, I'll have a good time. It's another day, so it's another save slot. And I guess this is a good place to leave off. So, I will see you in the next video. Bye!